My name is Michelle Mugatha, and I teach 7th and 8th grade literacy at Columbia Middle School in Aurora. So what was your experience like in education? Well, um, I felt a little frustrated. I had a couple of things I wanted to express. Um, I've had some varied experience outside of Aurora that I felt was sort of applicable that I didn't get to share. So um, I taught internationally for seven years before I came to Aurora. And we talk a lot about making our kids competitive in the global economy. But I work in a school that in the last five years has taken away all foreign language instruction. They've taken away any direct technology instruction. And we're one of the last middle schools in the district that still has music instruction. And the kids that I taught internationally were the kinds of learners that were creative thinkers. And they, they spoke multiple languages. And they were good at art and music and all sorts of different activities. And I see my students, and I think we're doing them a disservice because they're not being exposed to those same kinds of opportunities. So that was one of my concerns, is that 21st century learning is more than just the ability to operate a computer keyboard. And we're moving in a lot of ways in the wrong direction, I think. Um, when we th they talk about collaboration, I'm glad that came up, and I'm glad that someone brought up the fact that we need the time to be able to do that. Um, the school I currently work in, we're expected to do project-based learning in a team that we don't share a common planning time with. And we found that really difficult to do. So I'm glad that that's sort of coming to the forefront that if they're going to give us these expectations, they're also going to give us the opportunities we need. Um, the other thing that really hit me was the teacher effectiveness piece. Um, I feel like I'm a very effective teacher. But if I were to be really honest, I'm not as effective now as I was three years ago because I went from having 95 students and 90 minutes of planning to having 155 students and 65 minutes of planning. So I have 28 seconds of planning per student. And I, I have more kids who need differentiation. I have more beginning language learners. And I have less time to make those plans for them. And it frustrates me. And, and so I'm spending more and more time at home to be able to not slide backwards. So. Um, and I don't know who has the answer for that, because it's, a, it's a largely a financial issue. There have been cuts to our staff, and our, our enrollment has stayed about the same. And so we have teachers teaching more kids and less planning time. I don't know if that, I, I don't know who can solve that, but I need someone to understand that when you're asking me if I'm effective, I am. But you need to help me with that and give me the tools that I need to be able to serve the needs of the wide variety of population that I'm seeing in my classroom.